everyone, Trina here. Today we're going to work on some jelly prints, something different, not landscapey, something different. So let's get started. We're going to start off with a bit of this Payne's Gray mixed with white. I'm just going to roll that out. This is my new gel elf plate. And we're just going to make a background here, which we're going to put the image on top of. Okay, so I've been having some good luck with this lately. Let's see how it works. Um, first thing I want to do is I kind of want these uh, images right here. Let me find a blank piece of paper. I just want to make an imprint of these and not get ink on my camera. <laughs> These are this is a stencil that I bought that I thought they were smaller. They're actually ginormous. I'm just gonna roll a bit of that out and see what works there. Where's the other one? Where's the other stencil? Lost it. Where'd it go? So I'm not smart. I forgot to record that little section, but what I did was I put this mask down and then I used a stencil to print over it. Sorry about that. But we're going to move on to printing this. I'm going to put down. Some gel medium. And we're going to pull this print for our background. I'm not very good at jelly plate printing. <laughs> so we're going to see how this turns out. It could be really awful. But I needed something different today than uh, making landscapes. I need a break from the landscapes. I'm gonna let that dry for a bit and then we'll come back and take it off. Okay, let's see what we got. It's really stuck. It's okay if it's not perfect, because this is just the background. Okay, that's something. <laughs> let's move on. Okay, I've got some black paint here, just acrylic. It's a mixture of golden and another acrylic paint that I have. One is too thin, one is too thick. Um, so we're going to mix them up together. We want a thin, but not too thin, layer of black. And I'm not going to put it all the way to the edge because I kind of like that kind of broken edge feel. This is why my paper is all black because I've been Sprayering off. So we want just a little bit of sheen. You can hear that kind of stick, that kind of stickiness. That's what we're going for. What is on my roller? Okay. This is our color copy that we made from an AI image that I made of Steampunk Girl with camera. So let's see if we can make this work. Put it down and lightly press.
Okay. That worked out nicely. Okay, so this is now dry. I'm gonna put on some gold paint and we're gonna roll that out. Just to give her a little sparkle, a little shimmer. Hopefully that'll stand out on that blue background that we made. Make sure my brayer is cleaner. Okay. And I kind of don't want it to be on her face. I'm gonna try to work around that. And then I'm going to take the stencil and I'm going to put down some areas of the stencil. So I can kind of see what's going on here. Give it kind of a funky background. Oh God, there was paint on there. Okay, so there was paint on that stencil. I'm going to come in with the color shaper and see if I can get some of it off and make it look like it was supposed to be there. <laughs> I can't believe that. The black paint has kind of invaded my studio space. Um, let's... It doesn't look that bad. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. Okay, I've laid out some gel medium. I'm gonna brighter over this. Again, we don't want it too thick. We want a thin layer, and what this is gonna do is bring up all that paint and adhere it to our background layer. So let's take this piece of paper that we did earlier. We're going to lay that down. Smooth it out. Get out the barren. Once you feel like you have it pretty flat, we're going to leave this for like 15 minutes and then we're going to come back and take it up. So we're waiting for this to dry. This was one that I did yesterday from a Vogue magazine cover. Um, the same process, except I didn't do anything with the background. I just left it white um, and then added some bronze paint and stencils in there. Um, pretty successful, but she kind of gets lost in there. But it was fun. It's fun to look at. This was the next one that I did, a little bit more simple. Again, with the stencil, which I really thought that turned out really cool. Um, and the transfer was nice. This is from another Vogue magazine. Um, I pretty much used all the pages in my Vogue magazine, so that's why we went with the laser copies, and I kind of wanted to experiment with um, the AI. And this is one of the AI images I did today, this morning. Um, I got too much paint on there. It's really grungy. Um, I could go back in probably with some metallic colors and really make her pop, which I might do, but it's a little, a little hard there. Um, I like it though. So just a quick share. Okay. So it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Let's pull it up. I think we did okay. Some parts are stuck on the side, but It's a little dark, but oh, ooh, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Um, maybe I need to try it with a little bit more simple uh, photocopy. It's pretty dark, but. 
I kind of really like it. I like all this stuff going on here, and it's kind of shiny, metallic. You can kind of see where we put the stencil down. Um, I could lay down some color over it to maybe bring back some of these areas. But I think, I don't know, I think I might just leave it. Her face is kind of blue. <laughs> um, so maybe next time leave, I can maybe block off her face a little bit. But overall, I think it's, it's a pretty good one. I think this might be the one I like the best so far. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh... Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I don't think I have a... Do I have a mat for this? Hold on. And that's how it would look with the mat. Yeah, I wish your face were just a little brighter. And I wish there were a little bit more white spots. So we need to think about that next time we're doing this to conserve the white space just a little bit. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with 32. And I might... Do another one of these, we'll see. Um, maybe more landscapes. But I think I'm gonna stay away from landscapes for maybe the rest of this week. We'll just work on some things with this and see where that leads us. Cause I think there's more experimenting to go on here. Okay, thanks so much, bye.